Well, hello again. Um, I've been receiving a lot of um, messages and praises and compliments, etc., about the work that I'm doing in the morning. And I really appreciate your, your comments, of course. It means a lot to me. Um, and I'm more than happy to, uh, to share with you my work and my techniques. Uh, I mean, that's what it's all about. What good is it for me to know something and just keep it to myself? The beauty of, of this crazy world of art and creativity is to, to share, to, to learn. And that's part, of, that's part of the message that I try to bring with my little tutorials and my videos. Uh, as you can see, she, she's getting there. Um, there's much work to be done. This Chanel uh, hair piece that she's wearing needs a lot of work. It's just blocked into place, but the flower is quite light and, and, and beautiful. Um, it's all a matter of understanding where the light and the shadow sources are coming from. And I'm going to go ahead here. Um, here are the three products that I use. And this highlighter I created um, because I cannot find a pencil, a white pencil, that will give me the highlight that I that I want. So I blended a few ingredients and was able to come up with a blend that when you apply it to the graphite goes right into the layers but it doesn't become opaque. One thing about graphite is that if, if when I try to do highlights with color pencil or whatever, they tend to get a little bluish and, and cloudy because they pick up the graphite underneath. Not with this. Um, oops. Um, in little amounts, I apply in a succession of layers the amounts that I want. See, it, you, you can see that it falls down because when I work, I work laying flat. But laying flat, I cannot show you this. There. some of that little powder that fell into it off. Um, this mixture can be, once, once you have the, uh, the necessary glow and, and highlights that you are seeking, you can use fixative and you can seal it. Looks, looks like pastel, but it's not pastel. Definitely not. Um, let, me, let me bring it over here so you can see also how you can capture. It's hard for me to work and, and use the camera, but the applications are very easy. And with each layer that you apply, the brightness that you seek can be detected immediately. So this is not something that you have to break your, your head trying to figure out. 
there. It requires very little effort. Doesn't take doesn't take much to get the the hang of it. If you know how to use a brush, if you know how to work with uh, pastels, you won't have no problem at all um, achieving this this effect. Um, so here you have right in front of you the work as it happens and I will share with you once I get once I get this area right here more detail I will go ahead and uh, document the process for you to to have a better understanding okay I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.